Now, hey, let me give you another topic that okay. you won't really answer uh, the questions okay. about, and then give some. Well, hell, uh, and I then mean, give like, some metaphors that make no sense. What's okay? a metaphor? Let me give you something okay. else. Okay. <clears throat> you gonna tell me what a metaphor is? So on that AEW show uh -huh. that was in Seattle, Seattle, that's Daniel Bryan's home state, Brian Danielson, I think. Did you watch the part where he challenged MJF to an hour Iron Man match? No. In the future? No. Do you remember what I said about MJF on the show like last week? You was talking about how good he was. I said, no, he's a great talker and his body's no. real coming around, but he's out of shape because he you don't You didn't wrestle. say that. I said that. I said I watched him in a match and he was blown up and his fundamentals were off. And what did I say? And I said he that's what, because... He he and, said he wrestles once a week, but you know what I figured out? No. He doesn't wrestle once a week. He hardly ever wrestles. Well, He I, wrestles about once a month. Okay. Maybe. How are you supposed to be any good? You can't. Okay, but that's not really what I'm – I just want to know if you As remember. Ernie Ladd say, 10,000 repetitions, Rep Rogers. 10,000 repetitions, you'll start to have a clue. 10,000 repetitions, you'll start to have a clue. So I can hear Ernie right now saying to MJF, MJF, come here, son. 10,000 repetitions and you'll have a clue. So, MJF. Daniel Bryan says, I want to challenge you to an hour Ironman match because I'm going to expose you. I'm going to expose that you're really not the wrestler that you claim to be. I'm going to expose you because I don't think you're going to make it because you don't have the cardio. Okay, why don't you just say, I'm going to have a Texas death match. Why? Because Texas death match, there ain't no time limit. Oh. Okay. Anybody, so it, who, it, now listen. It could end then in 10 minutes. Oh, that, it, it, that's right. He wants him to have to try excuse, and go an hour. Excuse me. Oh, my God. I knew you weren't going to answer the question. No, wait. I'm going I'm <laughs> to be Tony. Back, I'm going to be you Tony. You want to say, why don't they have a Texas I, death match? Right? I, I'm going to be Tony Khan's oh, booker. Go ahead. Okay. Well, they only have a one-hour show, though, don't they? This is going to be a pay-per-view, and they have oh, a, but well, well, hell, and they have a two-hour show. Well, ha okay, you know who Dory Funk Senior was? No, I mean I know the name. Yes. Okay, anyway, he had a two hours and something Texas Death Match one time, and they put the Texas Death Match on first because it might last ten minutes, but it lasted two hours and something. Fucking awesome. That has nothing to do with what I'm talking about. What are you talking about? <laughs> At all. Oh, my God. It is incredible. Well, it's hard to it sit here. It is incredible. It's hard to sit here when I'm a, fuck, I'm a, a vast fountain of knowledge, and I'm talking about stuff you have no this idea. This is incredible. Uh, what stuff's going on? You're going to make me drop F-bombs. Fucking incredible. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, oh, what were you talking an about? Dave? Iron Man and one hour Iron okay, Man. Okay, now Iron Man has to go an hour. So no, Texas, no, 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 it does not. It's the most pins in an hour. And I, no, what happens if a guy can't get up by a count of fucking ten? Well, okay. oh, okay, well, oh, then they yeah. lose that fall, I guess. But then they start over, and then he can't get up again, so he loses another fall. <clears throat> anyway, an hour, so it has to go an hour. Daniel Bryan on TV said, "You don't have the cardio." Right after I said uh -huh. he doesn't have the cardio to do a regular match. I think that's a, sh a shoot. No, I agree with you on that, yeah. So, put me over. Say how. I'm right on it, man. Oh, you're right on it. <laughs> How's that? That's great. <laughs> okay. Uh, no, but but what I was getting at, it's a, it's, it's a whole lot harder to do an hour match than, a, see, when you have a, a an, an Iron Man match, you can have a fall. You can work at submission. And then you're going to get about a 30 to 45 second rest thing in between. Yeah. Yes. Okay. So in other words, you can get your breath. So if, if MJF's out of shape, oh, hell, I'll just submit to this hammer lock, roll outside. Then I get my 30 second rest thing. Then I'll milk the count, whatever, blah, blah, blah. And I'll get me a minute's rest in there and catch my breath. <sighs> You can do that, but if it's a one fall match, oh, you can't do that. You'll just fucking lose, and your ass is fucking gone. You're beat. You're no longer the top of AEW. 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 Did you see what else MJF said in no. his promo? Uh -uh. What did he say? He said that the some of the greatest 
people like in the wrestling business of all time, right, have been putting him over on social media as the greatest wrestler. I never heard that. One. Here's who he listed. Oh, okay. Disco Inferno. Okay. <laughs> Eric Bischoff. Okay. And Jim Cornette. And he said, <clears throat> "What do he say?" And what he's he, he really I I feel like he was actually putting Cornette over like the greatest whatever something. My personal friend or something like that, Jim Cornette. <laughs> Thought it was awesome. Now, now wasn't that? Uh, didn't uh, now MJF? Now he started with Major League Wrestling, didn't he? Well, I looked him up actually. Uh -huh. Half of these damn people from AEW were trained out there by Pat Buck and and Brian Myers. Oh, okay. So he was originally trained by Pat Buck okay, and then went awesome. to Major League Wrestling. Okay. And I think Cornette was probably there. That yes, time. that's what I was thinking. I think so. Okay. Greg Smith will tell us. Oh, yeah, Greg will know. I think so. What the hell? But uh, no, MJF has is a great fucking talker. No doubt about no doubt about that. His body's really improving. And the only thing it's bad it's, it's not bad about his work. He don't have any experience. Real experience. You got to remember. When I was wrestling, you wrestled every day. Yeah. So uh, you wrestle three years, you got a thousand matches. So what's MJF wrestling now? Twice a month, maybe. You know, when you said once a week last week, I agreed, and, uh -huh. and then I'm like, I, he, he doesn't. Uh -huh. He can't. I bet he works once a month. I bet he wrestles once a month. And if you ain't wrestling, and if you ain't, and I'm not talking about, I'm talking about getting in the ring. You know, they don't practice, in, but, right? So. It's it's a never it's a never that's like years ago with uh we talking I, about practice when, when yeah <laughs> when 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 I was working for Oli and I was running developmental towns for Oli he had all these guys on contract and he wanted them in the ring wrestling not practice wrestling in matches in front of people to stay in bump shape to stay in ring shape so cosmetically you can look great like Mr. Universe and take whatever supplementation you need to do and eat properly and stuff like that. But then you get in the ring. It's <laughs> and when guys haven't paid their dues of getting their fundamentals down and they're tired, then they're double shitty. So Tony book some towns and book these guys to get in shape. No shit. I mean, like uh, now correct me if I'm wrong. No, you're but probably he's, wrong. He's, but he's probably signed a lot of guys. Remember, he's Tony signed all these guys, and I don't think I, they've even wrestled at all. And they might have been there two or three years. And they're getting, yeah. a, they're getting the mailbox paycheck. What'd you do? Oh, nothing. Just open the mailbox. There's a check from Tony. 